Hey, do you know that creating a simple Android Studio app using ChatGPT is so simple? I created a simple login app which looks so cool just by asking some few questions to ChatGPT and it gives me a nice app and I don't have to give you any coding in that. You have to just write few queries to ChatGPT and it gives you awesome code which you can straight away implement in Android Studio and you get a cool app. Let me show you what I did in just one minute. Open the Android Studio, select the empty view activity, give your desired name, main activity and XML file is open in front of me. In chat GPT, I queried that create a simple login app in Android Studio using Java and it gives me XML as well as main activity dot Java. So what all I have to do is copy this XML and go to Android Studio and there I just have to remove everything in the XML file and paste it. As you can see, previously written hello world is now no more and a new design is in front of you. Next, I have to copy this main activity dot Java. But remember that don't copy the package name because package is yours. So I copied the rest of the line and then I went to Android Studio and I pasted it there. And then I ran the project and you can see project is running, gives a cool app. The username and password is admin and password. If you enter correct username and password, it says a toast message that yes, you logged in. But if you enter a wrong credential, then it gives you another toast message that it is a wrong credential. The code is working, but I'm not satisfied with the app. So let's add some flavor to it. And so what I did, I asked ChatGPT that add a check for the empty field for the edit boxes. Also, the app should take me to a new page which should be my home page, a second activity. ChatGPT gives me a new code for the login activity. Then I copied again and I pasted it inside my Android Studio because the new code has intent, just import the intent. And also the second activity dot Java is not created. So what I will do, I will go on the left face. I will create a new activity. The name of my new activity is this second activity dot Java. There is no error and now I can run the program again. So now when I run the program, if you don't fill anything, it says the fields cannot be empty. And if you fill correct credentials, that is admin and password, then it takes me to the second page. Next, I also want to in the next page display my username. For this example, it is actually only admin. So I asked ChatGPT to add this feature. So I give another request for giving me a new code which can display the username in the next activity. So ChatGPT modified this login activity and you see it is using put extra method along with the intent. And that's how you transfer any string from one activity to another activity. It also suggests that the second activity XML should be modified to show the text. So we copy the XML for the second activity, go to Android Studio and we paste XML code given by ChatGPT inside that. And then we go to ChatGPT and copy the second activity dot Java, except the package. The string is received in the second activity. And now everything is done and just run the project. And now it's running quite nice. And you can see if I put the wrong credentials, it says invalid credentials. If I don't fill anything, it says fields cannot be empty. And if I put Correct, it takes me to the new page and you can see welcome admin name has been successfully passed from one activity to another activity and it is showing. So guys, you can see using ChatGPT is so fast. I just created a simple app. But remember, if you create a complex app, you have to check thoroughly because it may give you some error. It cannot be so straightforward. But this was just about to say the power of AI to generate the cool codes like this. I hope you liked my video. Thank you very much.